Layer masks can be really confusing in Clip Studio Paint. I'm going to explain just some basic today. One, how to create a layer mask. This is a layer we have selected. We want to apply a layer mask to this layer. Um, there are two options to do it. First, we just click this icon, this layer mask icon, and a layer mask, uh, a, a all white layer mask, gonna uh, be created and uh, link to this layer and uh, we can adjust this layer mask later or we can do it another way let's undo this one or we can create the shape um, the area of the layer mask first um, I'll explain what I mean by just doing it um, let's use selection tool to make a selection of an oval and let's right click on this layer mask uh, remember not click not right click on the thumbnail right click on the, the the name of the of the layer right click and we go to layer mask and you can choose a uh, mask selection or mask outside selection what do they mean let's try uh, each one mask outside selection boom you see um, the, the area that's outside the selection uh, are hidden and also the layer mask is created here and we can see all the area that's outside the selection are uh, marked black so uh, that means uh, how do we read the layer mask black means hidden and white area means show um, so you should remember that and Let's go back and let's see if we choose layer mask and mask selection, see the opposite result will be delivered. Only the area that's inside the selection, this oval, are going to be marked black and that area, uh, the, the, the main area of this layer, uh, we apply the layer mask, going to be hidden. Um, Okay, I don't like this result. We'd better we'll just use a layer mask. Uh, okay, we'll just use a cir circular one and let's apply a layer mask outside selection. And we only want this girl, this main character to be show here. And also, when you right click on the layer mask thumbnail, there are different options. Let me explain a little bit. Um, first, enable layer mask. This is already checked because this layer mask is already uh, at work. If you uncheck this one, see, there is a cross on the layer mask thumbnail and everything that's been hidden before uh, appear again. And which means this layer mask is already uh, it's not at work, but it still exists. It, it's not deleted. Once you want to enable it, you can enable it again. You don't have to create it again. It's still there. It's just uh, hidden. Um, it's not just, it's just not functioning. And also let's right click and you can see link the mask to layer. This is kind of confusing. See, if we leave this check link, there will be a check mark between the mask, the, 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 the layer that's been masked and the layer mask. And the result is if you use the moving tool to move this object, uh, whether you choose the layer, the main layer, the raster layer, or you choose the main layer mask, the result is the same. See, the result is the same, whether no matter which which thumbnail you select, you move them and they move together. Yeah, the thumbnail, the, the layer mask and the main layer, they move together. But if you double click, oh, it's just one click, this check mark, make it disappear, or you use right, uh, or you right click and you choose uh, not link mask to layer. See, this check mark dis disappeared. And then you move this layer, you move this mask 
you only select the mask and only this mid layer is going to be moved and the layer below it going to stay uh, right there and if you choose select the picture the raster layer and you move it you see the circle shape is uh, staying and the layer beneath it the layer that's that has a mask on gonna move yeah uh, let's get the uh, get them linked and also there is the final function uh, apply mask to layer if we check this you see what happens the layer mask disappeared and you know the final the result become final and uh, the original layer has been changed permanently there is no masking layer uh, the the area that's been masked are deleted permanently. You cannot make further um, adjustment. I just I suggest you don't do that until you're one hundred percent sure uh, this is the final result you want. And also, uh, show mask area. See if we click that, uh, the area that's been masked are marked um, light blue. Um, this is pretty useful when your original layer uh, has some transparent area and so you apply a layer mask on top of it and some of area are hidden so then you don't know which area uh, are transparent because of the layer mask or just because they are transparent by itself if you apply this this function show layer mask so show the mask lay area then you can see clearly which ma which area is masked. Okay, that's pretty much it for today. And that's all I want to talk about layer mask. Thanks for watching. I am Grace, the founder of Grace Tune Studio. We do Christian manga art. This is actually, this illustration is actually from our current Christian romance manga project, Vita's Prayer. And I do Click Studio Paint every day this week. Have a good one.